There are a lot of Zelda games, y'all. Okay, I mean, a lot. And I'm only talking main series canon Zelda games, not including things like crossbow training or Hyrule Warriors. Frankly, until the age of 19, I was really only familiar with Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, and Link's Awakening, and I had kind of heard of Twilight Princess once or twice. In fact, if you go through the list of every main series timeline canon Zelda game and separated them by which games I have played and which I have not, the latter list is far longer. Almost twice as long. Cue the onslaught of people unsubscribing. Hey y'all, I'm the Geek Apprentice once again talking about the amazing gaming series that is The Legend of Zelda. If you have been a part of the geekdom for a while and have been able to visit a few of my gaming streams, then you are well aware of the fact that I kind of stink at games. I love video games, I'm just not very good at them, and I'm also incredibly stubborn and don't get into new games very easily. I just don't. It takes a lot to rope me in and maybe 2% of the time does it actually work. Because of this, despite how awesome the series of The Legend of Zelda is, I've only played a fraction of the games. Most are due to nostalgia, though I do genuinely love each of the ones I've played. They're amazing, but what about the others? Why haven't I played them yet? Time? Well, that's part of it. Games like Animal Crossing and Mario Kart are pretty easy to pick up, play a little bit, and then put away. But there's more to it than that. And because I'm a channel that claims, among other things, to talk about this gaming series, I should probably explain myself. You can actually separate the Zelda games I've played into two separate categories as to why I have not played them. The first is accessibility, the second is no interest. So let's get started, beginning with no interest. To be completely honest, I'm not a fan of retro games. I don't like how they look and that keeps me from being drawn into the game. I understand that Zelda 1 is a classic and that Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link is actually kind of underrated and much more fun than people make it out to be, but nonetheless I've just never had an interest in either of these games. I started the first one a couple of years ago, but I couldn't even find the first dungeon. That's how inept I am. Again, nothing against the games themselves. I even sometimes enjoy watching them being played, usually by people I know. But playing them myself? No thanks. Okay, I actually do not have a good reason for this one. The music is stellar, it's not too retro, as I did actually like Link's Awakening, though this one was before that, the dungeons are great, and it was the base of A Link Between Worlds, another game that I love. So why not play it? Laziness. I could even play it on my Switch, I just don't really want to, and I know maybe one day I should, because while Ocarina of Time set the standard for 3D Zelda gaming, a lot of what inspired Ocarina of Time to be what it is came from A Link to the Past. I'm well aware of that, so maybe one day I will. I don't know. Probably not. But maybe. Honestly, I don't have access to either Four Swords or Four Swords Adventures, but even if I did, it's based in multiplayer, which I have zero interest in. I know many who love these games and vouch for how awesome they are, but I just really don't want to bother. I just don't. Sorry, not a good explanation, I just don't. Okay, when it comes to Triforce Heroes, I could probably copy and paste what I wrote for Four Swords and Four Swords Adventures and be done with it. Except for the fact there are a couple songs in this game that are pretty awesome. So why not play it? It's dumb. There, I said it. I think it's dumb and I think it's atrocious that it's considered canon, that it's in the timeline. I cannot stand it. I do not like the story. I do not like the concept. I don't like any of it. Have I played it? No. This is how I was as a child, too. People would ask, do you like such and such food? No. Have you tried it? No. 
I just know I won't like it. Some things we don't mature out of. Now, does my hatred of it, if you will, automatically invalidate it as a Zelda game? No, my word and opinion is not Zelda law. Does that change my stubbornness? Also, no, I'm not playing it. I'm just not. <laughs>
and no motion controls. Maybe even with HD graphics. That would be awesome. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you so much. Skyward Sword is coming to the Switch this July with HD graphics and the option of no motion controls. Now, there is no mirrored option, but you can click this video to see my thoughts on whether it's truly left hand accessible or if we're just being over dramatic about it. I don't know, but you can watch that to get more thoughts on it. So this is a game I'm going to be able to cross off my list. Yay! I got to wait several months, but that's okay. We'll get there on its own timing. And also I want those Joy-Cons. Those look awesome. Obviously, I love this game series regardless of how many I've played or have not played. I would never begrudge someone their love of Zelda just because they've only played one or two of the games. That doesn't make them or myself less of a fan. We just haven't had as broad of an experience as maybe you have, but that's okay. Whether you've only played a little bit of Breath of the Wild or you've played every single Zelda game, if you love Zelda, you love Zelda just for different reasons. I do hope that I can one day get access to the games I'm interested in playing but have yet to. Nintendo knows what suckers we are for this series. Seriously, they could put the original Ocarina of Time on the Switch and despite me having it for the 3DS, for the N64, for the GameCube and what have you, I would buy it again. And plenty of other people would buy it again. Just don't give me the 3DS graphics, I hate those graphics. But do make the boots equipable. I think that was good. But I hate those graphics, the 3DS graphics are disgusting. Could be nostalgia, but also Link's running animation looks really weird. Y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to check out some of my other content and even my gaming streams, which usually happen on Friday and Sundays, but uh, it, it depends. And uh, also maybe consider joining the geekdom, as we call it, by subscribing. It's crazy to think that I might reach 10,000 by the end of this year. Maybe, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but that idea keeps coming up and it's kinda of crazy. Thank you so much to each and every one of my patrons, especially those in the Hylian tier, like Joking Batman and Code and Data. Y'all's support is amazing. Thank you so, so much. But anyway, that is all for today. Thank you for watching.